Hey guys, everybody has been asking me to do a recipe video on our chicken pot pie pasta. So that is what I am going, hi buddy. That is what I'm going to do today. So I'm gonna get out all my ingredients and show you exactly how I make it. I got this recipe off of Pinterest, but I kind of tweaked it to my own liking. I'm gonna show you what I do and then I'm going to leave the link down below as well. It's pretty similar, but like little things are different. So our chicken pot pie pasta, we are going to use garlic bread with ours. You can have whatever you want as your side. This is what we are gonna choose as our side. So here is everything you are going to need. Like I said, um, if you wanna follow the exact recipe, I will leave that down below. I am leaving some things out, but what I'm using is chicken bro chicken breast, chicken broth, um, half and half. You're gonna need two tablespoons of butter. Um, you're gonna need chicken. We just use canned chicken, it's just easier. Um, you need some mixed vegetables, paprika, cayenne pepper, salt, parsley, sage, thyme, garlic powder, and pepper. And then you're going to need some egg noodles. So if you guys are gonna use canned chicken like me and do the exact recipe I use, you put two tablespoons of butter into your pot and let that melt down first. And I just have my burner on medium heat. melted I'm just going to add my chicken so what I do is I kind of let that cook into the butter a little bit before I start adding all of my seasonings so then I'm going to take a half a teaspoon of garlic powder And I'm just gonna sprinkle that in there. Let that cook on the chicken. You can use um, garlic cloves. We don't have any. This is the part where you're supposed to use garlic cloves. So I'm also gonna add a little bit of garlic later into the mixture where it calls for garlic powder. So we're just gonna mix that all together. All right, then you're going to add in four cups of chicken broth. I'm just using the Market Pantry chicken broth. I'm pretty sure four cups might be the whole thing. One jug of yeah. chicken broth. Yep, one jug of chicken broth. And then, and then um, two cups of half and half. And I'm pretty sure two cups is this whole thing. One, and yeah, it is. That's a little extra, but it's Yeah, right. a little extra, but it's okay. So then after that, you're just going to kind of mix this. Once you have that all mixed in, you are actually gonna turn the burner up to high and bring it to a boil. So before you add um, the chicken broth and the half and half, add your vegetables. But since ours are pre-cooked already, it really doesn't matter. We're waiting for it to get to a boil. You're also gonna need a glass of wine to get through your kids' meltdowns and screaming while you try to make dinner. It's honestly just been one of those days. Once it's boiling, you're gonna want a half a teaspoon of thyme, half a teaspoon of sage. Um, the recipe calls for one fourth a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, but I'm gonna do about half of that. And then a fourth of a teaspoon of paprika. Just gonna add a little bit of salt. I'm not gonna measure it. Add some pepper. Where I'm gonna go in and just add a dash more garlic. 
And you're gonna mix it up and bring it back to a boiling. Mine's already back to a boil. Once that is all mixed up and brought back to a boil, you're gonna add your egg noodles. your heat back down to medium and let this cook uncovered for 15 minutes so we're just gonna go the full 15 and we'll just kind of keep an eye on it then this is where if you're gonna have garlic bread or whatever if you're gonna do a side this is where you're gonna start doing your side so I'm gonna have garlic bread and basically wait for the pasta to be done and then basically when it's done kind of taste test it and add like whatever you want Last time it had a little bit too much fan, so that's why I went a little less on that. It was a little spicy, but it was really good. So, we're gonna add our nifty fancy garlic bread. This little guy is having his dinner. Huh. Aren't you? You were just so cranky until we got to your oatmeal. You were so cranky until we got that for you. Is that better? I know when my niece are playing librarian. <laughs> Whose turn is it to go get books from the library? When they're done with the books, they come back. Oh, gotcha. What a fun game. I remember playing that growing up and playing school. <laughs> That's... <laughs> okay, you calm down. You just had a bite. great for kids because there is hidden vegetables in there you won't even notice so there is Maya and Noah's plates hi you just got done eating your oatmeal you trying to go for my one bottle no <laughs> no no sir all right guys so here is the finished product it looks so good it tastes really good how is it? It's good? I just need to add some garlic bread. And then she is perfect. It is so good. It's so yummy. This is perfect if you don't want to do like actual chicken pot pie. But yeah, really yummy. Again, I forgot to end the vlog. Um, our dinner was really good. The chicken pot pie pasta is so yummy. It's so much easier than actual chicken pot pie. Actually, chicken pot pie might be easy too if you'd bought like pre-made pie crust. I think much easier than chicken pot pie. We usually don't do like chicken pot pie. If we do chicken pot pie, it's like the soup and then we add like dinner rolls. So yeah. Um, it's really good if you like pasta it's really yummy the sauce is almost it's not like an alfredo but it's hard to explain the sauce is really good so yeah thank you guys so much for watching a lot of you requested this video I usually don't do cooking videos cuz I'm not like I don't know we just like we just have like normal dinners that you guys probably <laughs> eat we don't eat like anything fancy anyways thank you guys so much for watching and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy cooking videos um go follow us on our instagram and facebook page i will leave all of our links down below and we will talk to you in our next video